Hey, welcome back students. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to calculate the average atomic mass for uh, three known uh, isotopes of carbon. So we've already got the information here, and you can see that we've got uh, three isotopes, carbon-12, carbon-13, carbon-14, and we've got the relative masses. And so what we need to do here is kind of utilize the formula that we need in order uh, to calculate this. And that general formula is the following. So we're going to take, for every single isotope, we're going to take the percent abundance and we're going to multiply that times the mass of every single isotope. Okay, so this is going to be for isotope 1. We're going to do the same thing for isotope 2, isotope 3, and then at the very end of that we're going to be able to get the overall average. Because what this here is, this is going to be a weighted uh, mass based on the percentage of the uh, abundance for each and, and every isotope. So let me show you how that's done here in a second. So let's go ahead and do that now. Let's go ahead and minimize this a little bit and we're going to put this over here just so we can reference it. But uh, here we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take the first number here for the first isotope. So isotope 1, so for carbon 12, this is going to be equal to the percent. In this particular case it's 98.90 Go ahead and convert that to a decimal, so divide it by 100, and that will give you the following number, 0 0.9890, and we're going to multiply this times the mass, which in this case is 12.0000, and a few other zeros there, and that will be the first one. We're going to add this to the uh, percent abundance and mass for carbon-13, and that one's going to be equal to the following. It's going to be equal to... 0 0.011 and we're going to multiply that times 13.003355 and then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the carbon 14 and that will be the following numbers. Notice here the thing that's interesting about this one is that this is only a trace amount and because it is only a trace amount we're really not going to get very much. Why? Because if you look at these two numbers here and you add them together, the actual number here, the total is actually about 100%. And so you're not going to get very much out of that. So this trace amount really trickles down to about a 0%. So we'll label that as 0 multiplied by its mass of 14.003241. And we go ahead and uh, do the math all the way. And we're going to get three different numbers. And so what we're going to get is the following. Let me just move this out of the way. Let's see, put that back where it was, and we'll move this out of the way, put it over here for reference. And so we'll do this. If I do the first one for carbon-12, we'll wind up with the following answers here. Of 11.868. If we do the second one as well here, and we take the point 011, and we multiply that by the 13.003355, we wind up getting for the second one here 0 0.143036905. So let me kind of fix that up for us visually. And if we take the last one here, 0 times the 14, that's actually going to be 0. So what we're saying here, when we take this formula down here at the bottom, when we're saying use this formula here, what we're really saying is we're going to take all of this for every single one, and then we're going to add them all. So we're going to take the 11.868, add it to the one for carbon-13, and then add the carbon-14 one. When we add them all up here, the following answer is what we're going to get for the average atomic mass. And so you wind up getting here at the very bottom, 12.0110369. This number here is your average atomic mass, which I'll abbreviate as AAM. All right? And so there is your answer for this particular problem. So the main idea here is to remember that the three things that you must have to solve these types of problems. you got to know how many isotopes you've got, what the percent abundance is for that particular isotope, and what the mass is for that particular isotope. Multiply those two numbers together, add them all up for every single isotope, and at the end of that, that's going to be your average atomic mass. That is taking a weighted average for the mass for each isotope together. So there you go. That's how you calculate average atomic mass. Go ahead and check out the other videos, and hopefully all of this will be good for you as you move forward.